Hello Aquarius, thank you for joining me today. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. The uh, reading today for you is going to cover the energies between the 29th of June to the 5th of July. But timing is fluid, universal timing is fluid Aquarius. So whenever you watch this reading will be the right time for you. And the energies um, in any case do resonate a little bit beyond um, the uh, 5th of July. So um, we'll just get straight on with your reading. I've already meditated around your energies, uh, Aquarius, and I've done a pre-shuffle. So this is the final shuffle now, before I lay the cards down and see what the universe and the earth energies also want to say to you. speak for themselves not for me to um, interfere with that okay and no so they're the psychic tarot I've just laid down and now I'll give a final shuffle to the fairy oracle cards now the fairy oracle cards have a very very different energy to the psychic tarot but that's fine and that's great because they bring something different a little bit different um, to the reading extra clarity extra depth extra meanings there we go all right aquarius so at the heart of your reading we have movement, choices and decisions, and this is making a decision. This is from the earth part of the deck, um, and it's about making a, a decision. It could be to do with work, career, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It could be to do with any part of your life. So it's something about things moving, uh, having options, and then perhaps uh, the need to think about making a decision. Yes, because here we have Laguna, and Laguna is the fairy... Um, the fairy queen and she's half frog half fairy um, so she's ready to take a leap of faith ready to go on an adventure ready to go forward um, she doesn't mind where she lands um, because if she lands in the damp undergrowth then the frog part of her is quite happy with that um, she la if she lands on the uh, flowers or in the trees, then the fairy part of is quite happy with that. So this is about planning. This is the planning stage, ready for going forward. Um, and this is the clarify for the movement choices and decisions. So they, those two fit quite nicely together. The challenge for you at the moment of things, um, this is the triumphant card, successful card, major arcana, the chariot in ordinary tarot. But this is about going forward quickly, triumphantly going forward quickly and achieving. But for some reason, it's, it's the, this, is going to, this is proving to be a bit of a challenge for you. Um, and then we have the singer of inis, initiation. So this is about something building, something growing, something developing, if you like. Um, ready for going forward so perhaps it's saying this is in the stages of development of growing um, but it's uh, but it's going forward too quickly all right so these are the challenges at the root of it we have rejoice in celebration and the garden of the gate so at the root of this we have um, celebrating a, a success an achievement of some sort um, Right, coming together with friends, family, um, in one way or another, but celebrating. And so this is from the heart part of the deck. Um, I will also say that sometimes this is about a third party interference situation. Um, so take it how it resonates with you. And with, when I say third party, it doesn't have to mean about um, a, a third person in a relationship. It can mean um, um, a preoccupation um, an obsession that one person has that comes in between a relationship. So, um, or it could be an illness sometimes. So, however it resonates with you. But the pure message of it is about a celebration, a, a success. And then we have the guardian at the gate. And this is about, this is, um, if you think about the challenge, which was the singer of initiation, something growing and developing, then the guardian of the gate is when something 
um, has actually gone through the gate and that there's been a big achievement. There's a big change. Something has changed. Um, something has grown, developed. Um, there's, there's been a lot of success, which is linked to this rejoicing celebration. Um, so, you, you know, gone through the gate of, of achievement um, and change. And, ch and there's a very positive change. And it's a change where you don't look back. So this is at the root of this. Um, that led on to the, the choices and making a decision and getting ready to go forward. OK, um, in the past, leading to the situation, we've got patience and planning. So there was a planning stage in the past, a process of planning. Um, and then himself. Now, when himself comes forward, it's a very paternal um, energy. Um, it, it, is a, it is a male energy, a very paternal energy. Um, and you can see the stars that have lit up his crown chakra, third eye, and his heart chakra, and all the stars in his hair. Now, this, if this represents a person, this is a, as I said before, it's a, it's a paternal, it could be a father figure, um, or it could be a brother who, who's a father himself. Um, but it's a very benevolent energy, it's a very strong, powerful um, energy, uh, very kind um, healing energy as well. So there's something to do with this energy, whether it's a person or just the energy of, of himself, connected to this patience and planning. So on your mind at this time is material harvest. Um, now this means there's no more growth in a certain area. So you see the field has been ploughed, everything's been harvested for the year, so there's no more growth. So it's, you're thinking about something that there's no more growth. And it's something that's very difficult for you to face, to look at. Um, so there's uh, been a bit of a shock of some sort, a bit of a surprise um, that you didn't want to look at, you didn't want to face, whatever that is. So it's something that's ended, something that's been harvested, something that got no more growth that you're having to actually look at and face at this time. And that's what you're thinking about. Um, in your power position, we have recognition and reward. And this is about something that you've achieved, something you've done that's now finishing, um, but there's a recognition and reward. It's a job well done. This is a, so it's bringing something to an end, uh, but it's a job well done. Um, and connected to this is Mikola Mokol. This is a very innocent, childlike energy. Um, Mikola Mokol just it takes it goes with the flow. Um, it doesn't take life too seriously. Um, wherever he is, he'll be very, he'll be very happy. He'll be appreciative of surroundings, and he'll make the most of wherever he is or whatever he's doing. So um, this is within your power at the moment to perhaps adopt some of this um, energy, um, but also um, a, a recognition of um, a job well done. Okay. Um, in your environment around you, we have the solar plexus chakra. This is in your tummy button area. We all we all have a solar plexus energy, and this is this reflects um, the energy to do with power and control and and uh, autonomy. But and this is around you, so this is about something about a strength, a strength around you uh, of power and control and autonomy. Um, and then the singer of connection, yes, so it's, it's about connections, connectivity um, around you. It's the strength of that, the power around you of connections, whether it's family friend connections or neighborhood connections. Um, I mean, sometimes this is about the connection we have personally um, with universal energies. But um, so it, it could be something to do with that, the connectivity with universal energies. So take it how it resonates with you. So that's ex that's in your environment. Now, um, in your hopes and fears, we have trapped in fear. So something about um, thinking, being fearful in your in your mind. You're overthinking something. You're feeling stuck um, with because of fearful thoughts. 
And iris of the rainbow um, is when the dark clouds start to disappear when it's been raining and we get the sun come out and the rainbow. So iris of the rainbow is when um, comes through when, th th you know, the dark clouds are still around, if you like. They're not quite gone yet. So the difficult situations are still around. However, we've got a bit of a rain. The sun's coming through. We've got a bit of a rainbow. So it's a promise of things moving forward in a positive way. But this is what this is in your hopes and fears at this time, um, Aquarius. And then the outcome for you, we have um, the nine um, from the heart part of the deck. This would be the nine of cups in ordinary tarot. So this is about wish fulfillment. Something you've been wishing for and really wanting and hoping for is being fulfilled for you, which is which is beautiful. Um, and Penelope Dreamweaver. So this is about when we, things that we want, things we're hoping for, our, our aspirations. Penelope Dreamweaver energy is saying you can, you can manifest that. You can create that which you want going forward. So, you know, whatever it is you're dreaming about, whatever it is you are hoping for, it is within your power to um, to create, to manifest that reality. And it's and whatever it is you're wishing for. So those two go together quite nicely, don't they? And then the future coming in um, for you, Aquarius, we have spiritual strength and fairies of the future. So... So this is from the spiritual part of the deck, and this is the first one that's come out for you, and it's come out for you in your outcome, in your future coming in position, sorry, in the future coming in. So you, the, the universe is sending you spiritual strength. You can see the, the spirit behind the person holding the building up above the person so it can't come down on him. So this is about spirit having your back. There's some, somebody in spirit that's got your back, that's, that's holding things up for you, that is um, supporting you and helping you um, go forward, giving you spiritual strength. Um, yes, and we've got fairies of the future. So the fairies, they're all looking towards the future. Um, they're aware of what's gone. They haven't forgotten what's gone. They're aware of what's gone. But now they're looking to the future to go forward. This is, uh, they're not quite ready for going forward, but this is the like a planning stage, if you like. But they are facing forward. Um, and, you know, they're leaving it for other energies to uh, focus on what's gone. Uh, that's, that's fine. Um, but they are focused on planning for the future to go forward in a very optimistic and positive way. And we've, you've got spiritual strength coming in for you to help you do that, Aquarius. And this is what's coming in for you. All right. Um, OK. I'm going to just... Um, I'm just going to draw one more card for some reason. I just feel drawn to... Just pull one more card from the Fairy Oracle deck. Just one more card, please, for Aquarius. One more card for Aquarius, please. Okay. So the, the um, extra message from the Fairy Oracle um, energy cards are the Oakmen. And this is about drawing on our roots, um, drawing on our in, inner wisdom, um, you know, drawing on wise counsel. Sometimes it's about um, seeking a wise counsel from our elders in our family or the community. But it's, it's tapping into ancient wisdom. It may be the wisdom within us that we've inherited uh, within our DNA from past lifetimes or from our forefathers. But... Um, yes, this is about drawing, drawing on our strength, our inner strength and our inner wisdom and perhaps listening to the stories of our forefathers or getting um, support and counselling from the elders in our family, however it resonates with you, Aquarius. But that's, that's lovely. That's a lovely final message for you from, from the, um, the earth energies. I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I do hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, if you have, if you could 
please press the like and the subscribe button below the video. It's free to subscribe, but it, it will help my channel to evolve and you will be notified of any future readings being published by myself. Um, but um, thank you very much for joining me. Do join me again in the future. Good luck going forward. Bye-bye.